Hi everybody, I am designer Corey Christopher. I couldn't be more excited today to share some of my initial thoughts on destination retail and standing out amongst the beavers. Now, you might think that's quite a silly phrase, um, but I've sort of been thinking a little bit about all the beavers that have really invaded um, much of the tourism and destination industry as sort of the token icon Canadiana experience. And I think it's quite funny, I remember when I was traveling um, when I was in kindergarten, my parents decided to do a little bit of trip through the Okanagan and Vancouver and Victoria. And it was this amazing trip that we took for three and a half weeks, I think it was. And I remember going into all of the destination stores and constantly seeing beavers endless beavers, beavers holding Canada flags, beavers holding hockey sticks. Um, and what you started to realize was they were the same. And and recently I was somewhere and I was like, wow, beavers really haven't changed that much. Uh, and But what is so unique about that is I really wanna talk about ways to engage the demographic that is destination travelers. More than ever in our culture, people are traveling more. They are looking and foregoing financial, um, you know, purchases and actually looking to purchase experiences. But the one unique thing about that is though they want an experience, which is not necessarily materialistic at the end of the day, they're not looking to always purchase something, you know, tangible for them to take home. They are looking for that one or two things that really help them to get excited and remember that trip. And so my thought has always been that we want people to stand out amongst the beavers. So how is your destination retail store experience going to be different than everybody else's? How is it going to be unique? And I thought I would share three really fantastic tips and ideas for making sure that you are standing out amongst you know, a very populated um, retail industry right now. And I know that your store can go to the next level with some of these great ideas. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the idea of experience. And and for me, that is everything that is associated with a brand. Um, when we arrange flowers, I think of that as an experience. How is it delivered? How is it opened? How is the experience of taking them out? All of those little details add up to an ultimate experience that the client client or guest has. So what is the experience when people walk by a window or when they first engage with your product and really starting to think about how you're going to engage your demographic. So that's one of the very first things we need to do is identify who your demographic is going to be and how are they different from everybody else? Um, you know, how can you engage them differently? So for instance, is your destination location, let's just throw it out there to a provincial park. So you might be getting tourists into internationally who are coming having an experience and then returning home uh, you might have people who are day tripping or you know going for a shorter extent but live within the confines of Canada um, or even our friends to the states and so they're coming up they're having a different experience than the international guest and probably looking for something different if they're going to um, be purchasing things while they're there and then of course there's the local population which sometimes I think we forget about depending on our location um, um, but, but can be a very vital and important and key demographic for engagement. And so you have these three groups of people. And what we need to consider, especially when we're thinking about what, what can we engage them with? Well, first of all, most likely if they're internationally traveling, they're going to be limited on the amount of baggage that they can take, which means they'll be limited on room for the most part. Um, there are, of course, always exceptions, but they're going to be limited on what they can fit and take back. So they're looking for small things where the beaver does really fit in, right? Um, but what we want is things that are also just as memorable as the experience they're having. Um, so for instance, a family coming for the first time to a Banff National Park, let's say, and experiencing the gorgeousness and the vastness of the mountains. Um, though that beaver is a great addition, maybe they want something more locally charged or something that feels more authentic to to the experience they just had and the locals they've met. And that could be the experience they're even having with you and your staff is 
something that's authentic and feels in some ways hopefully Canadian in that sense. Um, but what we can also look at is is destination retail and and my parents also have a destination retail business um, based off of flower farming and it's about 25 minutes um, north of Edmonton, Alberta. And so we have the unique opportunity to engage people who are locals but also coming from let's say Calgary or you know our own provincial borders that they're you know coming to experience and they're shopping too so you know maybe some of those mountain inspired pieces are not what we're looking for but again they're seeking that authentic experience and so one of the things I really enjoy doing is engaging local artisans and I've done this myself with my own brand um, during the holiday season in particular because I, I am a lover of everything Christmas. And so what I often do will engage um, and recently have engaged Justine Ma, who's an amazing hand letterer and calligraphy artist and designer out of Edmonton. And we have created um, beautiful prints um, that have been holiday inspired. We've done some cards. We also did some really cute buttons this year, um, which are really fun and unique and different. And so what I would say to you is, you know, really take that opportunity to create something. Look at those partnerships because not only are you uh, providing a unique product, you know, you can look at exclusivity rights in some cases to creating and establishing a collaborative partnership that allows you to create something. But that person too is also getting an elevated experience and people love knowing, look, who's the local artisan? Maybe you have an artist of the month that every month you have a unique and different collaboration which allows that person to purchase it. Car are fantastic because they easily fit into suitcases. You know, a beautiful ornament or pin is easy for someone to put in. So I would really look for opportunities, whether you're in more of an international setting with tourism, or if you're looking, you know, one of my favorite places to visit in Ontario is Prince Edward County. And that very much has a tourist feel. But those tourists sometimes are coming from Toronto, if you want to call them day trippers. Um, or you can also look at people coming from around the world, um, you know, from the States to experience the wineries, etc. So maybe again engaging those local artisans um, in a collaborative um, possibility a collaboration of possibilities is really an exciting opportunity to stand out amongst the crowd um, especially you know it becomes something that they'll remember they'll want to engage possibly through through a social media um, component and that's something else I think that is so vital nowadays is is retail locations need to become not only a place of selling products and that experience I was touching on earlier but also you want people to be taking photos in your store um, you want them to be capturing the magic and experience so give them specific opportunities to do that set up perhaps a a photo booth esque area, you know, that maybe features a local artisan, features an oversized banner, some artwork, and really utilize that as an opportunity for engagement to get people tagging, to get people taking photos, to get people going, oh my gosh, I love this sign and it says, I love Canada, and you're holding it up, how cool, or I'm a whiny, and then, you know, holding that sign up as a way of then taking a photo. So, encourage them to tag you, run a contest around that. Yes, that person might not visit your establishment often, right? If they're international, they might not come back. But then what you've started to do is you started to build a relationship. So let's say you've started to do some e-commerce. Well, then that's an amazing opportunity to engage them because maybe you're able to ship across the country or internationally some of those products. So they might get home and be like, oh gosh, you know what? I want another three postcards because they're so beautiful. Or I want another three pins or that mug. I think mugs are one of those fantastic opportunities, again, to collaborate and have a really cool object that then people are going to use repeatedly. I still use some of the mugs that I gather while I travel. So, you know, be smart about throwing a hashtag on there, right? Because they might be on their phone while they're enjoying their cup of, cup of coffee and what an awesome opportunity um, for them then to re-engage. And then if they're going to your site and you're selling products that will ship, even better. So, you know, don't short sell that. It's really about connecting the dots in that sense. And, you know, finally, one of my last really great ideas, and, and some people look at me with like, 
no way, Corey Christopher, that seems crazy, but really having and finding unique holiday ornaments. I know this seems, you know, Corey Christmas runs from like November, December, but year round ornaments are really special, but make them unique. Again, look for collaborations, look for for ornaments that are different and unique and really gonna stand out because a lot of people will put that on their tree. I remember when we did do that trip in 1993, having all of these ornaments that we then put onto our Christmas tree and every year I'm like, oh, I remember the time, I remember the time. That is what the product that people are often pur purchasing from Destination Tourism is doing. It is reminding them of that experience, either making them want to go back, making them want to re-engage, look at photos um, and so, by recreating and creating a moment by them taking something um, is really an amazing opportunity. And even if you're gonna do a little Christmas area, don't do your traditional Christmas tree. Maybe it's branches that have the ornaments hanging on them. Maybe it is little boxes that then they can put the ornament in and it's it's branded with your information on it. Um, you know, look at beautiful canvas bags that are inspired by the area you're in. Maybe you've talked to a local photographer who wants to put their beautiful image on there. There are so many possibilities for really standing out amongst the beavers and really sort of setting yourself apart from all the other retails that, retailers that are in your industry. And I, I can just start to see all the potential coming together if you even just start to think about a few of these and you might already be doing some of them so you know continue on that route of really trying to think outside the box and really knowing who your customer is but then also providing them with that experience because that is truly what our culture is moving to they want to see an experience they want to have an engaging experience and ultimately that is going to leave them with a memory of your establishment that will long last and I bet you if they come back in five years, they will be sure to stop in at your place and shop again. So I hope you guys are feeling inspired. I hope anybody out there who has a destination retail location is excited by these ideas. Um, and I am so happy that and hoping that you are feeling truly inspired today. I hope you have a wonderful day and we will talk to you soon.